person who is trying his best or one who is trying her best to obey the instructions of Allah. It's not easy at times to fulfill the obligations that Allah has placed on our shoulders. It's a challenge. But that's what life is all about. Keep going. Don't give up. Allah knows your weakness. Allah knows you're weak. But Allah wants you to keep trying. Don't give up. Don't ever think I've got this bad habit. It's just not leaving me. Keep trying. A day will come when inshallah you will quit it. Be strong. Learn to develop yourself. The power that you would like to show is needed to be used within yourself to overcome your own weaknesses. You need more energy to control temper than you actually need to vent it and punch someone. That's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, لَيْسَ الشَّدِيدُ بِالصُّرَعَةِ إِنَّمَا الشَّدِيدُ الَّذِي يَمْلِكُ نَفْسَهُ عِنْدَ الْغَضَبِ A powerful person is not one who can punch up others and out-wrestle them. That's not power. <laughs> That's just what everyone else would probably do. The real strength is the one who can control himself when he's angry. Allahu Akbar. And that's why when Allah describes himself, you know what he says? Allah says, he is all able yet forgiving. Al-Aziz Al-Ghafoor. He is powerful. He can wipe out whatever he wants, but he's still forgiving. He knows. It wasn't worth it. Wasting your energies when you were young. Come on, you're young. We need you. Society, community, the nation, the ummah, the world needs you. You may be someone tomorrow whom the entire global celebrate as a person who's benefited, not just mankind, but beyond. May Allah Almighty grant us ease. Allah is ghaffarun, ghafoorun, rahimun, wadudun, etc. These are the names of Allah. Allah is most forgiving. You and I, we might forgive small things, wait until something big happens, and then something bigger happens, and something even bigger happens. We have limits. Allah has no limits. Life is short. One day is good, one day is bad. One day is for you, one day is against you. My brothers, my sisters, believe in Allah. If you have a relation with Allah, the good day is Alhamdulillah. The bad day is also Alhamdulillah. There are five prayers a day. On a good day, it is five. On a bad day, it is still five. Subhanallah. In fact, when something bad happens, we get closer to Allah. Do you have a guarantee that tonight will be a happy night? Do you have a guarantee that you are going to be alive tonight? There is no guarantee. People can pass away here and now. Sometimes, who knows what might happen as we leave? May Allah Almighty grant us Jannatul Firdaus. And when you develop a relationship with Allah, how He wishes, what happens to your heart? It becomes strong and pure. You fear none but Allah. If you are to die right now, you have hope in the mercy of Allah. Why? Because I'm trying my best to do what Allah wants. This life is full of challenges. Every day there is a challenge. Like I said at the beginning, يَوْمٌ لَكَ وَيَوْمٌ عَلَيْكَ A day for you, a day against you. No problem. Allah is great. I am alive. I will try my best. I have my hands and my feet. I have my ability. I'm going to do my best. If Allah takes what I have away, Alhamdulillah. If Allah takes me away, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I'm gone. What will happen to my family and my children and my women and my whatever, whatever? Don't worry, don't worry, my brother. Tawakkul ala Allah. I lay my trust in Allah. Where was I 20 years ago? Where am I today? Where was I 30 years ago? Where am I today? Wallahi, I am in a better position than I was before. I thank Allah. So if you look at the big picture, you are always winning and gaining. When you came into this world, what did you have? You had nothing. You didn't even have clothes. You were crying. You didn't even know how to speak. You didn't know how to walk. Nothing. And then Allah taught you. And slowly but surely He gave you. Today, whatever you have, did you come to the world with it? Look at your clothes. Look at your things. Look at your watch, your phone. Did you come? Were you born with this? No. Which means you already have more than what you came with. When Allah wants you to get something, to achieve something, or to give you something, Nobody can stop it. Even if the whole world is trying to block you from achieving something, they won't be able to do it.
واعلم ان الامه لو اجتمعت على ان ينفعوك بشيء لم ينفعوك الا بما قد كتبه الله لك او لن ينفعوك الا بما قد كتبه الله لك if the whole nation gets together to benefit you they won't be able to benefit you except with that which Allah has written for you and the opposite also is in the same hadith the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling us that if the entire ummah the whole nation gets together to harm you they will never be able to inflict any harm upon you unless Allah has written it against you if Allah has written it against you you need to know nothing is going to stop it may Allah protect us all always tell the sisters and even the brothers that if you want a child who's going to be someone serving the deen ask yourself who am I to start with who am I to start with if I'm a person who wants to follow the trends of today and I have my little heels and my makeup and my mini skirt and I'm walking around with a little handbag throwing things behind my back like this. Do you want a child who's going to really be some form of, you know, service to the deen? The same applies to the brothers. Every night you're in the club, you know, jumping and dancing and drinking and everything else and womanizing and all of those nature of, of things, you know, that type of thing. And then you say, oh Allah. Make my child a brig, you know, Sheikh who's going to be spreading the deen. <laughs> Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Your Sheikh is in the nightclub. That's what it is. And you want your child to be the Sheikh spreading the deen. You know, Allah can do it. But you need to repent. You need to turn back. It's never too late. My brothers and sisters, we turn to Allah. We turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not too late. We're breathing. Take a look at the world. Learn by looking at the globe. Watch the people. See the most content people are not those who run behind materialistic items. Remember that. Wallahi, I promise you. Yes, you might look at glamour. You might look at popularity. You might look at someone who the world looks at as, wow, a superhero. Someone who's a movie star in real life. They are depressed. They are struggling. They have addiction sometimes to various things, even drugs. They suffer with problems. They are bipolar. Look at so many of these pop stars popping one after the other. Pop, 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 pop. Have you seen that? That's why they're called pop stars. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. My brothers and sisters, we need to serve the ummah. We need to have a concern for the next generations. We need to serve Allah so that at least in our progeny, when they watch us, do you know the most powerful way of relaying the message is for them to follow by example. When you are fulfilling salah, when you dress in a specific way, your child who cannot yet speak in your language, who cannot yet communicate properly in your own system, will fight to dress the way you dress. Just because that is the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you fulfill your salah, Constantly, your child will be found in sujood before they can even walk. Do you know that? Why? Did you talk to them? No, it was Allah's way of telling you, look, if you are good, inshallah, by the will of Allah, they will have a good upbringing. What they do beyond a certain age becomes between them and Allah. Once you arrive at a certain point, it's now your life. I looked after my children up to a certain age. An example, just an example. I'm not talking about myself, but I'm saying if I look after my children for a certain age, up to a certain age, beyond that, if they end up dwindling left and right, I can always say, Ya Allah, I offered them the best. I still make dua for them. I will still guide them. But now they're independent. They are doing things. It's up to them now. It's between you and them. Ya Allah, guide them. Subhanallah. I can try when I say I can guide them and Allah guides them. Two different types of guidance. One is Ad-Dalala wal-Irshad. One is to show them the way. I can show them the way to say, look, this is the way. But At-Tawfiq is from Allah. The guidance in the sense that to bring them onto the path is from Allah. May Allah bring our children on the path. And before that, may Allah bring us on the path and keep us steadfast. Remember, when you follow your faith, considering it an honor to follow your faith, that is when you have achieved something. But when you follow your faith, considering it a burden, Yes, you may be following, but you will not achieve the true benefit of the entire package. People fulfill salah. When you fulfill salah, you're lazy to do it. You're just doing it because, hey, you know what? I'm scared. I don't want to be punished. Okay, fair enough. Your salah may be done. But if you want to achieve the broader benefits of that beautiful salah, do it as an honor. Oh Allah, I love you. I'm going to fulfill the salah because I want to do it for your sake. You've given me so much, Ya Allah. If you found this video meaningful, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving it a thumbs up. By doing so, you're not only showing support for our content, but also accumulating good deeds for spreading the message of Islam. 
So remember to click that subscribe and like button, and let's keep progressing together on the spiritual path toward righteousness. We appreciate your presence in our community, and may your journey be abundantly blessed and guided.